Well, winter's here. It's time to get back out at rats on a bit more regular basis. You'll find rats wherever there's waste, wherever there's a water source. A common theme is we expect them to be down sewers. But these days, they're everywhere you can imagine, really. They're hardy critters. And they make use of any food source. Then move on and find a new one. As human population or human species, we're guilty because we waste that much food. We create compost heaps on his gardens. And that encourages these critters. Now you have to admire him in one way because they're the ultimate survivor. I can live with very little. Quite communal animals. Live in big groups. They have real good social skills. Now they're fascinating to watch, but they are full of disease. Well, I'm up at farmyard. Uh, when I arrived, I saw a couple of rats under this hopper. So it seems like a decent place to start the session. Turkeys used to be in that pen, they're not in there anymore. They're being slaughtered, ready for Christmas dinner. Well, quite a wide area to look at. Hopefully a few of these will venture back out soon. So I didn't have too long to wait. And one did venture out. And I missed that first shot. Quick reload. And just see enough of it to get an eye body shot. And you just see another one there. Just scooting away, tracking it. It disappears before I can get a shot. Let's just have a look at that. Quick replay, see what happened with that first shot. I'm lined up perfect. Right moves. Just as I really see it on trigger. You can see there's two or three running about. This one. Not convinced to hit this one either. I think I just clipped that wooden post to upper or steel post. There's a rat just behind that post. Just seen it. Oh, I don't know if he's just gone down there. Let's see another one. Just come down this little alleyway. It's only a youngster. I finally got my eye in. He is in slow motion. Watch this pellet in flight. Nice and true. Straight between eyes. It's good night for that small rat. Another one ventures out underneath Opper. Just waiting for it, it's a bit fidgety. That's a lovely shot. A nice big rat that when I recovered it later in the evening. It is in slow mo. Look where I've got that little red central dot. It's all about shot placement. Just under here. Straight into brain. It's a good night for that one. Now I mentioned that brown rat were like ultimate survivor. One of the main reasons for that is the breeding cycle. So a rat matures at about three months. 
and then they'll have up to 10 litters per season. That can include 14 young rats at a time. So you can imagine, in a large colony, it doesn't take them long to soon build up numbers. And what you'll experience as a shooter is, when you start trimming a population down, that instigates a fresh breeding cycle. So they recognise that the population's numbers have dropped. And will start breeding to build their numbers up. Safety in numbers is key. Obviously they're predated on by a lot of predators. So they'll naturally lose numbers each year. Or each breeding cycle. And that instinct will kick in. Now you'll find rats in just about any environment. If you keep chickens. Or one of your permissions has livestock or chickens on it. Geese, ducks. That available food source. They'll bring them in from surrounding area. And back to looking under Hopper. One's come out to have a look at this fallen comrade. That shot went into the neck. Misjudged it slightly. It runs off. A quick reload. I'm checking under that because I can see its legs moving about. Eventually it comes out. It were a fatal shot. But just to make sure. I get a follow up. That's another one down. Here's another one. In slow motion. Again it went into the neck. Got no doubt it was a fatal shot. But it did bounce off. Run off. I'm sure it'll have expired pretty quickly. Now my only hunting farmyard tonight. A couple of farm cats on prowl. Generally it'll spook area for a little bit. Now here's a rat that messed me about. I changed locations to a spot that's usually really active. I only saw a couple of rats in this area. This one started under that feed up at our IBC. I'm tracking it. I'm waiting for it to keep still so I can get a decent shot off. We're having none of it, this rat. It's making its way through silage. Keep having to readjust just in case it pauses long enough to get a shot off. It's probably moved out to about 35, 40 yards now. I think it's coming back. Plenty of messing around. If it looks at it, it's probably scenting. Probably leaving scent marks. Maybe it's got breeding on its mind. It might have got youngsters back in a nest. Thought I'd lost it then. Comes back out. And it goes up into it. plastic. I keep watching. Decides to come back out. Making its way back down to IBC. Lose it again. I keep scanning. It pops out underneath where it originally started. And I finally get a shot off. I'm happy with that because it messed about for a good couple of minutes. I kept tracking it and tracking it. Common with rats. Helicopter tail. Jumping about a little bit. But as I said many times, it's just inhibition. It's just the body shutting down. Here's in slow motion. Pellet flew true. And dropped it on spot. I do find rats interesting creatures. They're interesting to watch. The behaviour is good to observe. Although they pose a lot of risks. To human population, to get into its food sources and places like that. So they need controlling. I know poison works, but it only works for so long. They get immune to that. They pass that immunity on to next generations. So unless we keep increasing its pop poison potency, 
then they'll always be around. I prefer feeding them lead. That way there's no secondary poisoning. Birds of prey, owls and things like that aren't going to pick them up. And that secondary poisoning won't occur and kill off them species as well. Rats also provide air gun away. Good sport. You know, if you get a decent population, find some hot spots. You're going to get some serious action. You can amass some quick numbers or some quick big bags in no time at all. Air gun's perfect tool for sorting these critters out, especially around farm yards, sub 12 foot pound. Now be careful in farm yards, think up water pipes for cattle and things like that. Holes in roofs, farmers won't appreciate that. These next couple of clips, this shows you what rat feces or droppings look like. And here's a prince. You'll notice these around farm buildings and stuff, and then target them areas. There's a long distance rat right on top of silage pile. A nice true shot. Drops it on the spot, not even a flicker of movement. There's another youngster. High body shot. A little bit of jumping around. He's in slow motion. Again, I think it goes into the neck. He's a pellet in flight. Just below here. And just into the neck, I think. That one took long to expire. It's only a little critter. And then JSB uh, exacts 10.34 grain. I'll have messed that one up pretty bad. Back under Opper, another big rat there. Perfect shot. Just proved a little bit of an hot spot. The turkeys were in this area previously, so I think they've got used to a food source being there. Now they're just looking around for scraps at bottom of Opper. Obviously, turkeys will have been uh, dispatched and been eaten on Christmas Day. Happy with that. You can see the other one to the left, which is still laid there. Now this was the last rat of the evening. A little bit of a run around. Goes under that crate. I managed to pick my shot well. You can see it just roll over. Back legs in air. That finished session off. There weren't many rats around in this particular evening. But farmed at a shoot. They've had a lot of like Christmas fairs and activities going on. And they use these farmyards for car parking. So they've had a mass clean up. I think that disturbance has probably put rats about a little bit. But I'm sure in another two or three weeks when all that disturbance has calmed down. They'll get a few more productive sessions out of this place. See this shot, lovely shot. Right between eye and ear. Bang on the money. It's a nice shot to finish on. Well, it were biggest writing session, probably 10 rats in total. Here's five that are recovered. As ever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Happy New Year to everyone. And all the best for 2023. And I'll see you next video.